Tesla has set its eyes on revolutionizing the transportation industry, not just in the U.S., but across the world. Following the construction of its first two gigafactories in the U.S., in Nevada, and New York, Tesla made the bold move to build a gigafactory in China, the largest car market in the world. In 2019 alone, more than 21 million vehicles were sold in China, which accounts for over 32% of all cars and trucks sold in the entire world. In July 2018, realizing the potential of China as the biggest EV market in the world, Elon Musk signed an agreement with Shanghai's regional government to build Tesla's next Gigafactory, Gigafactory 3 in Shanghai, China, the first fully foreign-owned car plant in China. With a population of over 1.4 billion people, China's car industry is growing with every passing day. China is also the largest electric vehicle market in the world, with more than 1.3 million electric vehicles sold during 2019. Construction of Gigafactory 3 began with Tesla winning the long-term lease auction for 210 acres of land in Lingong in Shanghai. According to reports, Tesla was the only bidder for the land, and it was able to secure the site for 973 million Chinese yuan, or 140 million U.S. dollars, for a 50-year lease. The total cost of construction was estimated to be at least $2 billion, but perhaps could rise to as high as Five billion, once all phases of construction are complete. Coined by Elon Musk as the template for future growth, Tesla began construction on Giga Shanghai in January 2019 and completed the initial phase of construction on the massive Giga factory in only 10 months in October 2019, a massive feat of construction and engineering. The incredible speed with which Tesla completed its first phase of production at Giga Shanghai truly showcased how Elon Musk and his team had learned lessons from the construction of Giga Nevada and Giga New York and how Tesla and its partners have been able to improve the efficiency of the Giga factory building process. Phase 2A construction began in March 2020 and perhaps unsurprisingly was completed in lightning speed only six months later in september 2020 inside the walls of gigafactory 3 tesla completes the final assembly of its made in china model 3 sedans and produces the model y crossover this is quite significant for Tesla, as assembling and manufacturing these vehicles in China provides Tesla with significant cost savings. Tesla claims that the facility was about 65% cheaper to build than its Model 3 production plant in the U.S., and also protects Tesla against costly Chinese import tariffs and China's 10% sales tax, much to Elon Musk's delight. According to Tesla's initial plans, it plans on producing more than half a million vehicles at the Gigafactory upon its completion, and for now, Tesla seems right on track to achieving this target. Employing around 2,000 people and equipped with a highly efficient Model 3 assembly line, Giga Shanghai was able to produce around 139,000 Model 3 vehicles during 2020. The vehicles produced at Giga Shanghai were not only sold in China, but some were also exported to Europe, Korea, and Japan while exports to Europe and other locations outside of China are currently ongoing from Giga Shanghai with the expected completion of Tesla Berlin in the coming months, this is likely a temporary move by Tesla in China. 
According to reports, vehicle production at Giga Shanghai had reached more than 8,000 units per week by the end of 2020, and Tesla has set itself the ambitious goal of producing 550,000 vehicles in Giga Shanghai in 2021. Around 300,000 of these will be Model 3 units, with the remaining 250,000 units being the Model Y, which was only announced in January 2020 by Elon Musk. Nearly one year later, Tesla has already delivered its first Shanghai-made Model Ys in January 2021. Located just a 90 minutes drive from Shanghai city center, Gigafactory 3 is a massive success story. It has helped Tesla achieve its target of delivering half a million vehicles worldwide in 2020. While Tesla has also been able to develop a healthy working relationship with the local as well as the national government in China with local Chinese EV competitors like NIO, Li Auto and Xpeng quickly ramping up their production and winning the confidence of Chinese consumers, Tesla could face tough competition in China in the near future. It will be interesting to see if a local competitor is able to defeat Tesla in the Chinese market. What do you think about Giga Shanghai and Tesla's prospects in the Chinese market? Let us know by leaving a comment below. Also, like the video to show your support. Lastly, make sure to subscribe to the channel and to hit the bell icon so that you can watch our future videos as they get released. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching Trailblazers HQ.